Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now it's time for our highlights. The Deputy Senate, the federal government has charged Deputy Senate President E.K. Ekwere Madri and Senator Basi Akman, who represents Akwaibom North East Senatorial District in Akwaibom State, with offenses bordering on their alleged refusal and negligence to declare their assets to the Special Presidential Investigation Panel for the recovery of public property. On Wednesday, John, Justice John Soho of the Federal High Court in Abuja, where two separate sets of charges were instituted against the senators, ordered that the charges and other accompanying papers be served on the two of them through the clerk of the National Assembly. The judge, after granting the orders for service through substituted means, fixed October 22nd for the next hearing date in respect of Equerimadu's case and November 19th for Akman's case. Now, Leila, with regards to this story, mm. basically, whenever I think of this, the only thing that comes to my mind usually is if you have nothing to fear, then why do you feel the need to hide? Thank so you. So if basically <laughs> your wardrobe, your cupboard is clean, why do you feel the need not to fulfill this mandatory requirement? Declare your assets. If you know you don't have public property, you've not stolen public property, then confidently declare your assets. So now they tried to institute an action against them. They tried to, sub to serve them. So basically they had been evading service. Usually when people try to evade se service, they are trying to pretend like, oh, I don't know. You didn't tell me. You're not trying to take me to court. But then the, the um, applicant now goes to the court to get an order from the court, allowing the court to do to allowing them to do substituted service, which is what has happened here. So basically, from the twenty second of October and on the nineteenth as well, we get to see the updates on the story. Yes, November nineteenth and October twenty second, we get to see the updates of the story. You know what? I'm just going to add one thing to everything you said because that was spot on. Innocent until proven guilty, right? Okay, we can leave that one aside. So if you really and truly have nothing to hide then you have absolutely nothing to fear. You know, you should be able to stand in front of the court in confidence and actually declare your stance on the matter that's been brought up against you. So quite frankly, I think it's one of those cases, yet again, that we have to wait out and see exactly what plays out in the court. It reminds me of one of one of our magazines, you know. They say that he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Mm. And I'm just thinking, at the end of the day, you need to just prove that there's nothing, you have nothing to hide. And that, because it, it all altogether looks suspicious when you're evading service. If they can prove that you're evading service, it looks like you definitely have something to hide. And that's why you're evading service. But of course, now that there's been substituted service granted, of course, there's no way now they can avoid this. And we'll get to see how, how this plays out. And you know elections are coming, so there'll be more of this heated story. So sit back, fasten your seatbelt, and get ready for the drama that is about to unfold in Nigeria. So much juice. <laughs> so much sauce. So much juice. <laughs> To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.